copy same when we see from the front this object looks in the front as the projection on the vertical plane so this plane when it is projected on the vertical plane this view is said to be as front view and when we see from the side it is the side which is projected on the vertical uh, on the profile plane so this plane is said to be a profile plane in which the side view whether it is left hand side in the left hand direction and right hand side in the right hand direction is projected on the profile plane in this projection we will see we can see that from in the top view the top view is observed as a rectangle this rectangle can be observed from the top view then when we see from th from the uh, perspective view or the profile or the profile view then we can able to see the inclined li inclined rectangle at some angle but when we see from the top the inclined rectangle from the top will be straight rectangle see it is the straight rectangle from the top view again in the top view it is the rib of some rectangle it is the additional object which is connected with the rectangle so this in the vertical horizontal plane for the top view we can able to see this rectangular shape which is connected with this object now same in the side same for the front view when we see from the front in the downward direction in the base we will see this rectangle so in the projection this is a rectangle of any specified dimension as we go further this is the inclined line at some angle so we will observe starting from this corner point this inclined line and same a vert a horizontal line horizontal straight line and vertical straight line can be observed this is a horizontal straight line and horizontal vertical line and same for the side view which is projected on the profile plane as we see from the base this is the rectangular shape which is projected on the profile plane as this straight horizontal line and straight vertical line which completes the whole rectangle as we see further we will see this inclined rectangle but when we see from the side this inclined rectangle is converted into the straight rectangle having the 90 degree vertical and 0 degree horizontal line which completes the whole rectangle this portion this portion is the additional portion it is the additional portion of having the additional dimension so the rectangle will not in the at the center or not complete the base of this plane but it is at some fixed dimension so th it is the view of the projections or the method of taking the projection in the vertical plane horizontal plane and profile plane now we will take the projections for this plane so now we will take the auxiliary planes means it is the profile plane which is the type of auxiliary plane but when we see from this direction from the inclined direction then the inclined auxiliary plane is to be considered if i want to see this rectangle in the inclined at some angle then new plane is to be considered this new plane this inclined plane on the 3d object the corner points are noted as capital a b c d respectively now the projections of this points ref with reference to the horizontal plane will be taken here we can see that the plane that the plane a b c d on the 3d object can be viewed in the top view front view and side view up by this portion by this particular portion but if you want to see the profile plane auxiliary plane then one inclined auxiliary plane it should be taken the auxiliary inclined plane always at some angle as we see it is an auxiliary inclined plane 
the auxiliary inclined plane always parallel to the angle of inclination of the line this is the angle of inclination at some angle of the line and this line and this plane this extra plane always parallel to each other now the, we will take the projection of this inclined rectangle on the auxiliary inclined plane and we will see that the projections of this auxiliary inclined plane makes a rectangle which is noted as a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash and d1 dash respectively okay now this auxiliary inclined plane is tilt at, the, at 90 degree and we can able to give get the inclined 2d directions of all the planes the vertical plane should keep in the same direction the horizontal plane should rotate in the 90 degree clockwise direction and also the perspective profile plane should also rotate in the 90 degree direction and same if the inclined plane the inclined vertical plane is considered it should be rotated in the 90 degree direction so that it will consider in all the one plane or single plane now take the center line and take the projections it is an angle theta so the angle theta and this theta all always the same and this xy this line is said to be as x1 y1 always parallel to each other these are the distance between each other and we will take the projection see these are the projections which is done from the a dash and b dash respectively and on the auxiliary vertical plane we will get the rectangular shape of this inclined plane take the distance and mark the distance on the auxiliary inclined plane so that we will get the full rectangular shape mark this points with the line horizontal vertical line and complete the rectangle so this is the rectangle which is which can see from the auxiliary inclined plane okay now we will see the pattern of the planes and view in the first angle projection method first of all i have to explain about the angle of projections means in the orthographic drawing there are two angles of projection the first one is the first angle projection method and the second one is the third angle projection method i have to take the example in which this plane mm -hmm is considered to be as the first angle project this plane is first quadrant it is considered to be a second quadrant in the downward direction it is considered to be a third quadrant now if I want to take consider the first quadrant then the object which is kept and the different views that is the first one is the front view when I take the front view the front view should always above the xy line the junction of this horizontal and vertical plane this junction is said to be as xy line and when i keep any object on the first quadrant and when we observe the front view then the projection of this front view should always projected above the xy line that is the above xy line is projected on the front view which is in the first angle projection method now when i observe from the top view when i observe from the top view the projection will be projected on the horizontal plane and this projections which is projected on the horizontal plane is rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction means in this direction 90 degree clockwise direction and the projections are considered which are considered always in the below the xy line this is the xy line and the projection which is considered 
which always come in the below xy line in the first angle projection method so in the front view the front view always considered i've always taken above xy line and top view always taken as below xy line now if i consider the third angle projection method it is the third quadrant now if an any object is kept in the third quadrant and when I, when we consider the front view and top view of that particular object at that time the the front view of this object it is the object and it is kept in the third quadrant the front view of this object is projected in the horizontal plane so the projection of the front view in the horizontal plane is considered is kept below xy line it, this junction is said to be as xy line and it is projected below the xy line which is the front view now when i consider the top view consider for the third angle projection method consider the this horizontal plane as a transparent plane and when i keep this object in the third third quadrant and when i observe from the top view of this object means when i observe from this direction then i consider that the projection of the top view will always projected in the horizontal plane and this horizontal plane is rotated in the 90 degree clockwise direction so that the top view of the object will observe above the xy line when we rotate the object the horizontal plane in the 90 degree clockwise direction at that time the top view of the object will always above the xy line so as we compare as we differentiate the first angle and third angle projection method in the case of the first angle projection method the front view always comes above the xy line the front view always come above xy line and the top view always comes below the xy line as we rotate the horizontal plane in the 90 degree clockwise direction and in the case of the front view the object is kept in the horizontal plane the always the object is kept in the horizontal plane and in the case of third angle projection method the ob object is kept at the ground level the object is kept at the ground level because in the third angle projection method to keep the object there is no any plane any additional plane so the object should have to keep at the ground level only in the case of third angle projection method the front view will always below the xy line and the top view when we rotate the horizontal plane in the 90 degree clockwise direction the top view will always come above the xy line so it is an inverse views so it is this these two methods keeps the inverse is this opposite they are opposite with each other okay now we will see the pattern of the lines and views it is the horizontal plane and vertical plane and the profile plane is kept at perpendicular to both vertical and horizontal plane it is the xy line which is the junction of both horizontal and vertical plane okay now in this case as we studied earlier that the horizontal plane is rotated at 90 degree clockwise direction so this is the direction of the 90 degree clockwise which is rotated to the horizontal plane and the profile plane is rotated in the 90 degree 90 degree direction which is in clockwise direction as we see this figure this is the pectoral setup of all the three planes the three planes that is vertical horizontal and profile plane the arrow direction is normal way of observing the object but in this direction the vertical in this in direction only the vertical plane and a view on it that is the front view can be seen the other planes are views on the this uh, on the views on those can be seen in the other planes now when we when we rotate the horizontal plane in 90 degree clockwise direction so the horizontal plane will come below the xy line it is the xy line 
as we see in the pectoral view this is the xy line and when we rotate the horizontal plane in 90 degree clockwise direction so that the horizontal plane will come below xy line it is the xy line and it will come horizontal plane will come below the xy line same now when the profile plane is rotated 90 degree in the clockwise direction then the profile plane will parallel to the uh, front view that is parallel to the vertical plane so when the view when the particular view that is the front view which is observed on the vertical plane the top view is observed on the horizontal plane and the left hand side view in this case the left hand side view is observed on the perspective uh, profile plane if I want to see the right hand side view then the profile plane should be kept in the opposite direction that is in the pectoral view as we see that the profile plane is kept on the left hand side if I want to see the profile the right hand side of any object then the profile plane should be kept in the right hand side which is perpendicular to the vertical plane and the horizontal plane respectively okay this is the pattern of the plane and the refer of the reference plane and views different view particular views the vertical plane in the vertical plane the front view can be of the of projection of the front view is to be done on the horizontal plane the projection of the top view is to be carried out and on the profile plane the projection of the left hand side view and also the right hand side view is to be done now we will study the methods of the orthographic projections to draw the orthographic projections there are two method the first one is the first angle projection method and the second one is the third angle projection method in the first angle projection method here the view are drawn by placing the object in the first quadrant means when we observe any view in the first quadrant that is it will be always the, in this case the front view will always above xy line and the top view will always below xy line this figure of the it shows the symbolic representation of the first angle projection method in this case the front view